Notorious streamer Johnny Somali faces up to three years in Japanese prison deportation and being banned from visiting Japan for a very, very long time. David, most people are happy about this, but what else are people saying? Honestly, I think that there are thousands and thousands of people on the internet rejoicing right now, Andrew. Mm. I would say the ratio is about 98% against Johnny Somali, 2% in support of him, because this just fits in a long, long line of American pranksters, Andrew, going all the way back 25 years ago. Andrew, the crew of Jackass got banned from re-entering Japan for a number of years for messing around with Japanese polite society then there was tom green then of course there was logan paul filming the suicide force but johnny somali andrew he might be pushing it the furthest out of everybody because he was in japan messing with people in society for months yeah so everybody please hit that like button right now let us know if you enjoy our commentary we're going to get into our own personal opinion and a lot of the comments section but first a word from our sponsor smallassauce.com guys Get it right now, Sichuan to Sicily. I'm telling you, this is my absolute favorite sauce that I've ever had in my entire life on fried rice. And I'm not just saying that because we made this sauce. Andrew, um, a lot of people were talking about how Johnny Somali was unapologetic even as he was getting arrested by 15 Japanese police officers for trespassing in Osaka. Yeah, and a lot of people were wondering when the Japanese government officials or the police were gonna do something about it. Obviously, he had been getting into some altercations and getting punched out, and Yakuza dudes were kind of tracking him down, making him bow, show respect. But basically... Uh, it seems like the Japanese police took their time. They wanted to build up enough case because I don't think prosecuting a foreigner, especially an American citizen, is super easy. So they wanted to make sure, you know, not just after one offense, but like six offenses. Yeah, and long story short, Andrew, he uh, trespassed on a closed off construction site in Osaka. And that's really like the crime violation that they clearly needed. Mm -hmm. However, here is this other clip of him just being utterly disrespectful to literally a Lawson's clerk. Yeah. Man, I mean, seems like some ignorant thing that would happen in America, like, you know. But it like, feels like you'd be scared to act that way in America because yeah. there would be physical repercussions. I don't know, man. it's so weird to see an American who could be also causing trouble in America do that same thing in Japan where they're not acting any different. But anyways, uh, guys, let's get into the comment section. Yeah, um, actually, they can hold him, Andrew, for 23 days in Japan without charging him. That is a rule in Japan. So a lot of people on the internet are hoping that at the very least, even if the police find it too complicated to actually charge him in criminal court and it costs too much taxpayer money, at least they hold him for 23 days. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, honestly, that's a pretty good deterrent. A lot of people are starting campaigns to call the embassy in Japan, the U.S. Embassy, Embassy and tell them not to support Johnny Somali. However, I looked into it, Andrew, unless you are SOFA status or diplomatic status, the U.S. Embassy in Japan will not help you if you violate local laws. That makes sense. So don't even put a call in. It doesn't matter. Somebody said, I really don't care, nor should anybody else. This guy gets a hard on every time somebody mentions his name. Clearly, that's his whole thing. He gets off on it. He just loves and loves the attention. How much do you think that's true? Did he do it for money? Did he do it for attention? Was he? Does he just have like, you know what I mean? Is it just the worst 12 out of 10 example of, of young narcissism? Yeah, I mean, I think people who commit crimes for attention for clout for social media uh for those reasons should definitely get punished pretty heavily now i think we need to start punishing those people a little bit more who actually commit crimes not just uh, listen yeah i mean harassing people that's definitely you shouldn't be doing that that's a crime but i'm saying like we need to punish these people more because basically with social media now, there's only going to be more and more pressure for people to act wild and do stupid things. Right. And if you do it partially for clout, there almost needs to be like, almost like, you know how they like, like classify things as a hate crime? Like if you are verbally saying that you hate this group while you commit this crime, it's like extra harsh. I feel like if you're doing it for the clout and attention and yep. money, it should be extra And harsh. I think it's really on the audience to put the pressure initially on the private enterprises like Kick, Because Kick was always advertising itself as like, oh yeah, this is like IRL Twitch stream with no restrictions. But it's, at some point it's like, bro, you are like damaging so much. Yeah, you're enabling these people to be a nuisance or to be a threat to society. You're basically, you're monetizing people to be horrible members of society. 
Yes. Um, this guy said, man, I feel so bad for people that have their first and only interaction with a black person like this. He probably single-handedly has created so many racists. Uh, this was a comment from, I believe, an African-American themselves. Uh, I saw a couple of these comments yeah. saying that, like, man, you're making everybody look bad. Andrew. There was a lot of people of Somali heritage saying, man, I don't really consider him a true Somali. He's making us look so bad. We already had that whole pirate stereotype before. This is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, it sucks because... Listen, when a group of people like in Japan, they're not exposed to a lot of black people, right? And then really, what if only they're one or, or one out of every like, one out of the, the five interactions they have with a black person is this. It, it, it does gonna color your image worse. You know, like, unfortunately, it shouldn't be that way. Right, yeah, that I mean, is human nature. Yeah. Um. Somebody said, I think that he's going to get out of jail. He's going to pretend like he's some sort of badass because he was on the inside and has some sort of street cred and he becomes even more annoying. Yeah, I listen, I there's a possibility that this happens, but that as long as platforms ban him for making that type of content, um, and it's tough because I think as a social media brand, if he comes out of jail and he and he just wants to vlog about his experience... Technically, should that platform ban him or should they still let him have freedom of speech? Or maybe, or not. You know, maybe they, they should probably do the right thing and not let him make money on those. Here problems. is a video of Johnny Somali's cameraman, Andrew, also getting arrested. And then he is saying, he's claiming that he's being harassed for no reason. Somebody said, that's crazy that he's saying the police are harassing him for no reason when literally he makes a professional living harassing people on camera. Yeah, man, he's a big troll, man. So, I mean, overall, my general takeaway is like, this is cool. I'm glad. And I, it was entertaining to see the vigilante step up and even punch him out. You know, I don't think violence is always the answer, but I thought that sometimes well, a lot, it's a lot necessary. of people were following this like roller coaster yeah. drama, right? Yeah. And I don't think he should be monetized. I think all pranksters and people who are being a nuisance to society should be demonetized at least on platforms, you know, discouraged to, from making that content. Do you content. think if they are demonetized and they're not allowed to accept heavy donations as well, like that button is also demonetized, they'll just stop doing it? I don't know. I don't know, man. There's always going to probably be some platform that they can do it on. But yeah, I think the platforms need to say, hey, listen, at some point, some content is just, is just bad for society. Literally, guys... It's just gonna like monetize the degradation of society. It's kind of crazy, guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section below of this whole Johnny Somali situation. Should he get deported? Should he get a slap on the wrist? Should he do full three years in Japanese prison? Uh, keep it civil. Yeah. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. If you commit crimes for clout and attention on social media, throw down the hammer. Punishment's harder. That's what I'm saying. All right, everybody. Uh, that's my take. All right. Peace.